Pope Francis was greeted by standing applause by Sophia University in Tokyo. It's an educational center founded by Jesuits in 1913 and was the first Catholic university in this country. In his speech, the Pope emphasized the university's mission is not only to offer knowledge, especially in a country like Japan. In una sociedad tan competitiva y tecnológicamente orientada, esta universidad debería ser un centro no solo de formación intelectual, sino también un lugar donde pueda ir tomando forma una sociedad mejor, un futuro más lleno de esperanza. Pope Francis recalled these young people must put their abilities to the service of those who need it most. El estudio universitario de calidad, más que considerado el privilegio de unos pocos, tiene que ir acompañado por la conciencia de saberse servidores de la justicia y del bien común. Servicio a implementarse en el área que a cada uno le toque desarrollar. Una causa que nos compete a todos. El consejo de Pedro a Pablo sigue siendo cierto hoy. No olvidemos a los pobres. The Pope did not want to say goodbye without thanking the whole Japanese community for their affectionate welcome to him in the Japanese lands. As a symbol of affection for Pope Francis, students and teachers gave him a very significant gift. They gave him a sculpture of Canon, the Buddhist goddess of mercy. Due to its close resemblance to the Virgin Mary, Christians would use it to pray without being discovered during persecution in Nagasaki. Pope Francis gifted them a silver engraving of the Virgin as a token of his visit. After saying goodbye to some of the students, he left the building to applause. Rome Reports is now available on your TV. Thanks to our new app, Rome Reports Premium, you can watch exclusive content, documentaries, special reports, analysis, and more. You'll be able to access Rome's most recent news, now in HD and without commercials. Download the Rome Reports app in English or in Spanish. It's available on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and Android TV.